The following is a selected video from MasterTheContent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit MasterTheContent.com. Your career? What can actually happen in the case of a carboxylic acid is that two molecules of the acid can come together and hydrogen bond to form an eight-membered ring that is referred to as a dimer. And that's what we have on the screen right now. So a carboxylic acid dimer pretty much consists of two monomers, two contributing acids, which form uh, two contributing acid molecules, which form an eight-member ring that is joined together by hydrogen bonds. So as you can see in this case, we have an acid right there, and we have yet another acid right there. And those two are joined together by two hydrogen bonds. So, in actual fact, most simple carboxylic acids are largely dimerized. So they exist, for the most part, in that form. So what does dimerization do as far as the physical properties of acids are concerned? It actually increases the energy input that is required for boiling to occur, for vaporization to occur. And how does it do that? It's very simple. Okay? So when you form a dimer, you do two things. One, you effectively double the size of the molecule. And two, you introduce additional hydrogen bonds, and we all know what those do as far as melting and boiling points are concerned. So what would you want to do if you wanted to, to boil or vaporize uh, this dimer right here, this dimer that we have on the screen? You'd need to do it in one of two ways. Okay? You could either vaporize the entire dimerized structure on its own, which would require significant additional energy input, or you could proceed to input energy to break those hydrogen bonds. So to break up the dimers and make it easier for you to, to boil and vaporize them. So both of those processes will require significant additional input of energy. And for that reason, dimerization will increase the energy that you require for boiling to occur. And that is how dimerization affects the physical properties of carboxylic acids. It requires or increases the energy input that is required for uh, boiling to occur, and for that reason, acids will have higher boiling points than comparable compounds or than compounds of comparable mo molecular weight.